This is Sean of SeanConrad.com. So you're thinking about starting a business. Do you think about getting brand new customers outside of your friends and family? Or do you say to yourself, I'm gonna hit up all my friends and hit up all of my family to get my business going. And this can mean like with sales or helping out friends and family or reach out to a whole new set of clients and customers. The thing is, if you use friends and family, there's this thing that happens where friends and family sometimes feel like they don't have to show up on time or they should get something for free or a bunch of things for free because they're friends and family. So how do you run a serious business? You went and got your license, you went, you, you registered, you have your supplies, everything's in place. And you're using your friends and family and they're like, hey, I'm running late this morning. I, I'm running late again and I, I won't be in Thursday. You're like, what, what do you got to do? I got to do something. Okay. Right now you're stuck opening up or, or you have to rearrange everything about your business, your company and how, how things are going to happen on Thursday because your friend or your brother or your sister's like, I got to do something Thursday. That could really happen. So in many situations, it's almost better to just hire outside of your friends and family. Have people doing work for you that don't know you, that can't run the friend card routine. Like, hey, we we homies. Don't, <laughs> that can be the beginning of the end. So think about this. I know in some situations it's like, hey, I'm gonna do this with my sister, I'm gonna do this with my brother, I'm gonna do this with my mom, and we're gonna run a family business. That can work. It can work as long as everybody really treats your business like work, like their career, right? And not just that they're working with you and it's all good because y'all grew up together. That will take your business down. It will take your business down. So in some situations, I'm like, my friends will not see the light of day of this business, right? They don't even need to know. Things are going well, my businesses are doing great. That's all my friends are gonna hear about. Because the minute I say, hey, all right, seriously, you gotta do this on time. This needs to be ready by three o'clock, okay? At 8.30, there's a call that we have to be on. Like, Ooh, they start, you know, people just start saying, hey, you know, chill out, man. You know, this is me. You know, you acting like, like no, I'm, I'm acting like this is my business. I'm acting like we have to take this seriously, right? Because you're fully invested. You're fully invested. And you want people that are not going to be like, chill, man. Chill. We going out later. Blah, 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 blah. And that's why a lot of times if you've had bosses in your past, right? For different jobs that you've been at. It's, most times it's hard for the boss to become friends, buddy, buddy, with the people they're supposed to be supervising or managing. Because somewhere in there it breaks down and then when it's too buddy, buddy, people are like, hey man, I was only 20 minutes late, damn. Dude, dude. I'm trying to run a business. So you have to be careful when you're working with friends and family. Another situation is, do you really want your friends and family making big purchases for you? Where all of a sudden, they're like, hey man, it's all good, I'm just doing this for you. But down the line, they might be like, hey, remember that thing I did for you. So cut me some slack, cut me some slack. And now you're like, dang. I need this person to be here on time just like anybody else I would employ. I need them to like be on their game, but they got this thing hanging over me because they invested in my business or they bought me my first such and such. 
So you, you have to be careful with that too. It might be better just to go to SBA and get the loan. Just get the loan and buy your own stuff. Or, or use your money, save up, and get your own stuff. That way you're, you're not on the hook with anybody. You can just work, focus, 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 focus on your business. So you want to be in a situation where if it is your friends and family, you're able to get them to produce, to be productive, work hard, be on time, and handle their responsibilities as if they're working for somebody that they don't know, that they didn't grow up with. If you got that part down and you feel like you can do that, best of luck. But if you don't, heads up, heads up. Think thrice about hiring friends and family for your business. This is Sean Conrad. Give me a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'm out.